for your deck. Two for yours, a Zed and a Shen. Okay, I think we keep this. Hopefully we find something to do with the Fiora. Not exactly what I was looking for, but that's okay. So at least we get a curve out from here on out, so that's good. Fiora is obviously a little bit of a problem, like especially next turn it could um, kill this. Okay, well that's not too big of a deal. Definitely could have been worse. Magic has no Definitely could have used that a turn ago, but that's okay. Not the biggest hungry. deal. Suspicious. So we got Thress here. Sorry, we got Diver here. <laughs> what turn is it? <laughs> not turn five. <laughs> Okay, interesting pass. Do I actually just take this pass? Doesn't seem like it's worth pushing two damage to just like... I mean, the other thing is like, do you really not have a four drops? Like, why... Are you like hoping to block and barrier? I really don't get this pass, but we're gonna take it because we're not pushing all that much damage. Put it back, put it back on tempo. It's an odd pass, though, without a doubt. So, play thrust here. <laughs> Probably, yeah. He might have top decked that. I wasn't paying too much attention, but... So, attack with these two. And then play Lux. And then we have a Vengeance for um, Fiora, so that's at least nice. We're, we're looking pretty good here. Our ancestors are watching. Everywhere I go, the light follows. Who does not know the name Laurent? So that's not big enough to kill him. Well, I could kill the teacher, but like nothing I care about. <laughs> so play the two mage seekers. I'm thinking. If that happens to be like a Fiora or something, we um, have answers for it. Confine and contain. You don't know what you're doing. Without a sound. Okay, well we're just gonna hope that other one's not Fiora. I mean, I think if it was a Fiora, we'd have seen it a long time ago. So I think I'm just gonna take this chance to play this crumble. Strike. Strike it is. Oh, that's nice and mimi. Suffer long. Hardly fair. So what saves him over here if I block with the four or five? Also, how much damage do we have if we just give it all next turn? We have seven... No, wait, 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 we have 16. We have like a Zach Lethal right now. With like, give it all. You could definitely respond for another strike, but it's like, is that worth it? I think it might be worth it. Yeah, let's just go for Lethal next turn. I don't think we're in too much danger of dying from another attack, and uh, you know, I kind of like just going for lethal. So, what is next turn? It is turn 8, so I can't actually play these two first. So, like, at the very, like, even if he does respond by, like, killing Lux, we still have... 
three, three elusive toughs. Wouldn't be good enough for Letha at that point, but uh, it's still pretty good. Confine and contain. You don't know what you're doing. That egg. Did it move? The miracle of life. So this is definitely game if he de if he doesn't have a um, way to start to kill Lux here. I mean, I guess he could also kill the diver and, okay, yeah, it's just game. I mean, I think the only card that would save him is like the, um, the recall everything, but that's 10 mana, so yeah, it should just be game. So, okay. Thank you, Maid Seeker. Did we win? We did, Lux. We did indeed. Now we even got a level for you. First open play of the week, that's nice. Let's see if we can.